what they are now dubbing rising power China, is taking aim at the U.S. Space Force amongst everything else going on here globally. They're now targeting the U.S. Space Force and they're saying that they're deeply concerned about all this going into motion. Meanwhile, they are on the backside of the moon. No one knows what they're doing. They have a lot of different missions ongoing with the moon and with space altogether, but they're trying to say that this goes out of bounds in terms of trying to keep the peace and and trying to keep space a peaceful domain. Now, Russia's stated some things like this here recently as well, but Russia's also sent up these these different uh, missions themselves, these different satellites that were actually dubbed satellite eaters. They were satellites that would go up and start to eat the metal or eat junk in space, Russia said. Now, you could see it for its good advantage there, but we know there's always the nefarious that's being used out there as well. Like anything that can go and snatch up a satellite or space junk and chew it up could probably latch onto a working satellite and cripple it. So that would be considered a weapon, depending on how it was used. And things are really starting to heat up in terms of space and where all these countries are taking this. But this is the latest with China barking back at the United States, targeting the Space Force here. We'll see what the United States says in response. I'll leave links below. Follow me on Twitter for breaking news. And email me, dabu7 at yahoo.com, if you want to join us this March 21st, 2020, for Knowledge Conference. It'll be held in the northern Kentucky area, right across the river from Cincinnati, Ohio. Hope to see some of you guys there. Much love.